What's up and welcome all to this Wrestle One review of WWE Survivor Series War Games 2023 or BKA Night of Returns in Chicago, Illinois. Well, it's not really Chicago, but just for the sake of this review, we're going to go with it. And with that, you already know that the CM Punk chance was going to be very loud and very present. And speaking of that, there were some notable returns on Saturday. And one, I'll give my honest thoughts in another video because I'm not trying to make this review longer than it needs to be. So if you want to check that out, it will be on my channel after you watch this one or you could just go over there and watch it right now but i would really appreciate you guys checking out this review and so with all that said let's go ahead and jump right into things going into this event there were a lot of expectations mainly from the returns but due to a lot of the interest in the war games matches and i don't really think it was too much interest in the other bouts on the card like i don't think anybody really truly cared too 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 much about the uh, middle section of the pay-per-view event like Rhea, zoe gunther miz dragon lee santos escobar i mean they were good enough matches in their own right but not good enough matches for a pay-per-view event like survivor series and all of them had predictable outcomes like i don't think that anybody thought going in that Rhea or gunther was going to lose their titles to their opponents especially with Rhea the heel being more over than her opponent and the entry for the gunther versus Miz match all stems around the clashing of styles when it comes to both men and to me this match feel like it really could have just been a raw match maybe thrown in the main event but not on survivor series the lee escobar match was really good but it was predictable with the story being the build and rise of Santos Escobar as a heel and opposing either Ray or Carlito. So the middle section of the pay-per-view event was just okay. But the meat and potatoes of the night were the war game matches and neither disappointed being the best things of the night. The women's war game started off the night with Bailey just looking completely delicious. Then you have Io with the trash can spot, the stereo drop kicks to both Becky and Bianca as they're chained together. Because the crowd was so loud, they literally was cheering and booing depending on whether somebody was going to grab a table or not but ultimately the match resulted in team est winning after putting bailey through a table which is to further the story of them turning on bailey as well as her turning face so i can get why they made that decision now out of the two war games matches the men's was the best now given it did have the added help of the returns but also it had better stories and better character interests like if randy was going to show up or not but we all knew he would we just didn't know that he was going to do a Carlito like not only showing up late but coming back jacked as fuck but the match itself was great it had some dope spots with Drew and Priest both doing triple choke slams which led to a frog splash moonsault as well as a coup de grace then we had stereo draping DDTs to Judgment Day and an almost cash in money in the bank spot and let me not forget the RKO to JD Madonna coming off of the cage leading to the victory for Team Rhodes but the talk of the night was not just randy and our troops return but punk making his return at the end of the night getting some interesting reactions but overall i enjoyed it now i didn't hit every prediction that i made i mean i was five to one so not bad but honestly the women's war games match could have gone either way and as far as this ple it was better than what we got with crown jewel the in-between matches were good but they wasn't war game matches survivor series pay-per-view match good but the returns were the icing on the cake i thoroughly enjoyed it and with this being the last main roster ple of the year especially with chicago representing like they did all night i think they went out on a good note and so with that said that wraps up my review for wwe survivor series war games 2023 i'd like to thank you guys for joining me and if you like this video go ahead give me a like subscribe if you're not hit that notification bell for more videos like this and I will catch you guys on the next one so peace out stay safe and if you want to hear more of my thoughts on cm punk go ahead and check out the videos probably right over here or whatnot and uh like that video as well